Hey guys, Nick Clark here, we're going to focus on this today, today we're going to do my new bodyweight evolution video, okay, and this one, we're hitting the biceps, okay, so, uh, quite a different one from the very first video that we did for the biceps, okay, whereas this one we're doing sort of lying on the floor, effectively, so it's called a sideline bicep curl, okay, because like I say, you're effectively lying down while you're doing the bicep curl. Okay, uh, I like this one because obviously it means like minimum equipment or like no equipment at all, okay, uh, and very, very minimum room, okay, plus so it's, it's sort of fantastic and easy to fit into a workout, okay, so especially if you're just doing a very short workout and you need something to blitz the arms, okay, then this is one that you should fit in definitely, okay, because you can overload the muscle properly and really sort of give you that time and attention and work on your eccentric, isometric and concentric as well. So, really good one to do. So, basically what you're going to do is you're going to lie down like so, okay, and get some padding for the elbow if you need it, if it's on the half floor. Get your knees at this sort of angle, up by facing the ceiling, grab the crevice or the crease of your knee in the bend, okay, get your elbow on the elbow sort of joint, okay, maybe just after, okay, uh, so that it's not sort of resting on the floor, okay, we up like so. Do not pull with your abs. Your abs will activate, but do not pull them. Make sure you pull the bicep. And then, like so. Okay, so pull with the bicep. And you can see there, four muscles are far up, bicep and the shoulders slightly. Okay. But do not pull with your abs. Your abs will activate, but not, do not pull with them. Make it harder, hold it at the top, and then lower it nice and slowly. Now that's uh, okay, guys. Anyway, uh, <coughs> that's how you do it on that side. I'll just show you from the other angle, from the other side. Okay, so I say get your padding if you need it. Okay, get your knees at a certain angle, grab it, the bend of your knee. Okay, also start from the tip of your elbow and then pull up, okay? Again, you can see there, that the bicep's firing up, as well as the forearms and the shoulder, okay? But let's say, you see, obviously the abs are activated, okay, but I'm not pulling myself up with them, okay? So that's a key point, do not pull yourself up with the abs. Okay. And then let's say, we'll make it harder, Hold it at that sort of top range of motion, or just before you start lowering, and lower it down, nice and slowly. Okay, and that's how you do sideline curl. Okay, now like I said, I like this exercise especially because it requires minimum room, very minimal room, as you can see. Okay, and no equipment at all. It is your own body weight. Okay, because this is body weight evolution, there's no rep range. Okay, so there's no 10 to 12 rep ranges. Okay, it is to failure. So do three sets on your left arm, three sets on your right arm. Okay, and trust me, as long as you do this exercise properly in the way I've just shown you, okay, then you will get results. Okay, because you're keeping it under time for tension for longer. Okay, plus when you're in that sort of lowered position, okay. Make sure you keep the tension on the bicep, don't flatten it down, okay? Keep a slight bend in it, Just keep that tension on the arm, okay? And, <coughs> and that way you'll overload the muscle and you'll get the response and the sort of spark in the muscle that you need, okay, for it to come back to for bulking, for toning, for strength, okay, and like that. I mean, even the forearm muscles will get some sort of work out of it, okay, like some strength building, okay, and also some bulk as well. Uh, again, it depends, obviously, on sort of what you're going for, okay, uh, but like I say, it's three sets to failure, okay, so that will be more or less the bulking and toning uh, and strength sort of, sort of uh, elements that you will be getting out of this exercise. Okay, but like I say, I, I find it's a good one to do because it requires hardly anything and just a bit of will and determination. Okay, uh, <coughs> so yeah, uh, but like I say, that is how you do obviously uh, your sideline curl. But make sure that you don't pull the abs. Okay, your abs do activate, but they obviously don't make, make sure you don't pull them. Okay, that is the key point on that one. Okay, make sure you don't. 
Um, anyway, guys, that is the bodyweight evolution video in books for the sideline curl. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as Google+. Plus. Okay, and make sure you follow us here on your YouTube channel, Focus Fitness. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down the bottom and link below. Okay, or the round subscribe symbol that's going to be showing up somewhere ahead very soon. Okay, um, also if you do subscribe, you can follow us every single step of the way and never miss a video post on this channel. Okay, plus if you think it's going to help a friend out or family member, get them to subscribe so they can obviously follow us every single step of the way and never miss a video post on this channel as well. Okay, so if it's going to help them with their sort of training techniques, okay, um, obviously show it to them and get them involved. Okay, because uh, I find like say if you're if you're in a rush with this one, okay. Uh, or in a rush and you don't have a lot of time, this is an effective one to fit into your workout, okay? Especially to hit those biceps, okay? Which you're getting that concentric, isometric, and eccentric work out of it all in one go. Okay, um, also, I'm going to be sticking a link here very soon, okay, for my very first bodyweight evolution video that we did for the biceps. Okay, so if you haven't obviously checked that one out, make sure you do, because uh, it's really good one to do, obviously, and I will see you guys in a few days with my new video. Okay, cheers, bye.